guys, I'm Richie923 and I'm on Geek Status. And today I'm going to be showcasing my entire toy exhibit. If there's a classic toy or an iconic prop replica from my favorite movies and TV shows, it's going in my toy exhibit. Let's go back to the future with a die cast DeLorean time machine and some Minnie Mates figures, a replica of Gray's Sports Almanac, and it's Blast from the Past receipt. Mattel's official limited edition hoverboard. USA Today's official print from October 2015. Halloweencostume.com's Nike mags. And Deluxe 2015 jacket and hat. Dehydrated Pizza Hut. And a real bottle of Pepsi Perfect. But if there's something strange in your neighborhood, call the Ghostbusters. This is a fully featured proton pack from Spirit Halloween. Mattel's Ghostbusters collection includes Ecto Goggles, Neutrino Wand and Ghost Trap, and the PKE Meter. Hot Wheels Elite Ecto-1, and Maddie Collector's Screen Accurate Action Figures. Let's go to a galaxy far, far away in Star Wars A New Hope, with Luke Skywalker's X-Wing, and Han Solo's Millennium Falcon. The opening scene Star Destroyer and Rebel Blockade Runner. The original Power of the Force figure set. And join the dark side with Darth Vader's lightsaber and helmet. And while we're here, say hi to BB-8. And your good old Thunder Buddy Ted. Let's take a trip to the 80s, starting with Beetlejuice. Or another Michael Keaton classic, Batman. Cameron's dad's Ferrari. Lone Star's medallion and Schwartz ring. Currency from Zamunda. Original Karate Kid action figures. Audrey II as a motorized coin bank. Bill and Ted with Rufus in the time-traveling phone booth. And Gizmo from Gremlins. Let's move ahead into the 90s. Movie edition Ninja Turtles. Dick Tracy and his original wristwatch. The T-Rex from Jurassic Park. Mario and Luigi from the original film. The replica of the magic ticket and classic figures from Last Action Hero. The T-800 from Terminator 2. Men in Black Shades, Noisy Cricket, and Neuralizer. Communicator Badge and Tricorder, and Multipass, The Genie's Lamp from Aladdin, Ghostface, and Wayne Campbell's Hat. Of course, the majority of my collection, Power Rangers. The die-cast metal reproduction of the original Power Morpher and Power Coins. SH Figure Arts are super posable figures with detailed accessories. The soul of Chogokin Megazord is loaded with highly detailed die cast metal and multiple points of articulation. And next, the Green Ranger. This 24 karat gold legacy power morpher is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive and it's one out of a thousand pieces produced. The Legacy Dragon Dagger also features 24 karat gold as well as sound effects from the TV show. The soul of Chogokin Dragonzord is also highly articulated with die cast metal. The Legacy Ultra Zords comprise of Bandai America's collector's versions of the Zords. Bandai of Japan rebranded both Legacy Morphers for their Super Sentai Artisan line. Fans will also remember that the Green Ranger handed his powers over to the Red Ranger. Bandai America finally released a fully wearable Red Ranger helmet. The Legacy Communicator features classic sound effects. The Legacy Blade Blaster is a sleek reproduction of the Ranger's transforming sidearm. Bandai of Japan created this neat Dino Crystal accessory along with the Super Sentai Artisan Dino Buckler. Bandai of Japan also released their own set of power points. The Red Ranger's Power Sword is one of the last Legacy weapons released by Bandai America. And what kind of collector would I be without a Funko Pop? 
Here's my collection from the 2017 Power Rangers movie. The screen accurate legacy power coin set. And Bandai's largest Megazord toy ever. Here are vintage Zoo Ranger toys from the original Japanese series. The Ranger Gun was released here as a Power Rangers toy, but the Thunderslinger was its companion never seen here in the States. This Dino Buckler was autographed by the original Tyranno Ranger himself. And the Zoo Ranger photo book was also signed by the original cast as well. As for the rest of the Power Rangers and Super Sentai series, I've been collecting every Red Ranger, Morpher, and Megazord since it came out in the US. Some Red Rangers and Morphers didn't exactly make the translation, but for consistency, I imported them anyway. And for this Red Ranger in particular, fans remember the original Red Ranger passed his powers on to Rocky, who would also gain metallic armor and the power of the ape. For a good while, the American Power Ranger toys would be very similar to the original Japanese version. They would feature very same molds, but the only differences would come down to paint, stickers, and sound effects. It was around the Wild Force era where Bandai America would start omitting certain features or even start creating different molds altogether for the Power Rangers versions. This is when I would start strictly importing the Super Sentai versions from Japan, even getting a head start before the series would even be adapted as Power Rangers here in the States. And as the show went on, the Super Sentai lineup would start to get mixed up during the adaptations. So for the latter half of this collection, some entire series and toy lines would stay exclusive to Japan. Eventually, I knew I would run out of space, but I still managed to squeeze in the latest dual Sentai team. And last but not least, Super Sentai introduced me into the long-running Kamen Rider series. And I absolutely loved the first one I watched, Kamen Rider 5. He used the coolest and classiest gadgets and was all carried in a sleek briefcase. still kind of inspires me. Whatever you do, just make sure it's organized and looks good. Thanks for checking out my collection.